Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we are going to make a level system. Let's get started. The first thing we have to do is make sure that our game is published. So go to File, Publish to As, and you can you can overwrite another game if you want to, or create a new one like I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna rename it a level system, and I'm gonna disable Team Create because it's easier that way for me. So I'm going to create it. And now that I have the game, go to game settings, security, and enable API services. This is so we can use data stores to save our data. Okay, and now let's go to starter GUI and insert a screen GUI. Let's rename it to level GUI. Inside we can insert a new frame and we can rename it to bar frame. Let's set the anchor point to 0 0.50. The position can be 0 0.5, 0, 0.020. The size can be 0 0.4, 0, 0, 0, 0.050. 0. Background transparency can be 0 0.5. And yeah, uh, that's it for this uh, part. We can set the background color to black as well. We can also insert a UI corner to get this corner effect right here. And now let's go ahead and insert another thing, another frame. Let's rename it to bar. We can just set the, um, the size to zero, zero, one, zero, and also insert a UI corner. Okay, and now let's go ahead and go into this right here. And we can insert another frame. Let's rename it to level container. We can set the anchor point to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. The same for the position, so 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Background color to 0, 170, 255. So we get this blue. And we can set this size to 1.50, 1.50. And the size constraint to relative y, y. So we get this square. Let's also insert a UI corner and also a UI stroke. We can uh, choose this UI stroke and set the thickness to maybe maybe three, the transparency to 0.5. Okay, so we have this outline effect. And inside, we can insert a new text label and we can rename it to, uh, let's say, level label. The size is just one one, the background color to one. And I'll set the text scale to true and set the font to, let's say, Oswald and the color of the text to white. Let's set the text to one and also insert a UI padding and set the left to 0 0.50 and the same for the right. Okay, that's our interface and we, now we can start scripting. So go into the bar frame, insert a local script and let's call it local, uh, it's a local level handler. Okay. Now, first, our users can use create our simulations. So, users can open the object. So, let's call the bar. We also have a level container and a level label. So, that's what we're going to do. So, for the level bar, we're going to inside the table. Oops, level one, two, three. Oh, play. There we go. You open the player. You open all the stuff we're going to use. And I'm, I'm not going to choose player leader stats, which is where people normally put their experience in. And things like that. And that's because I want it to be hidden. So, another player should see it in the leaderboard. No, I only want the player to see it. But you can change it to leader stats if you want the player to see it in the leaderboard. If you want to. Okay. So, inside we have a folder. A folder that I'm, I'm going to choose this player, which is called player stats. That's what I'm going to call it. And inside we have two different things. So, speed and level. So, let's get those five folder and wait for four like this. We push folder. We put level. We need two functions, one for updating and one for the level up. And I'm, I'm thinking about the experience meaning is the level value times two. So if you're level one, you need to actually level two, four, and then eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm doing. I think that's kind of good. I'm good. So I'm going to calculate the size of the bar. And if we have all the XP we need, I want the X to be one, so it's the entire length. But if not, it's smaller. So I'm going to make a little green for moving the bar, resizing it. Once we get some experience. Or if we have to play the function, I play the function as well. And now we have the level up. Let's say, uh, actually, we'll just be square, we made the level container. So between service, create level container. Now I'm just going to invite my clicking enter the green info of new 0.5 email, uh, easing style, that back, and also the easing version of output of this bounce effect. I also want the two reverse sources down, so I'm going to reset that. I'm going to comma, and then enter again, these brackets, size equals, uh, let's say, 1.65, 1.65, so it's a little bit bigger. I can put this back to the box. I also have the bar screen, I can make. So we're going to play the bar screen, and also the box screen. And once the box screen has been completed, we can play another thing. Because it's the level up, we first put the bar to all the way to a full size, and then go to the next level, so that's what this is here. Once it's completed, once it's and at the end we just do XP to change the value, we will update. But once the level changes the value, we know we are leveled up. We can go back and just make it to level up. Okay. 
going to do an update at the start just because you know when the everything loads we have to make sure it's updated so yeah that's it for the level local level handler script we can now go to server script service we can insert another script let's call it a uh, level handler and we also need the xp multiplier which is the amount of xp you need so if you want to change this make sure to change it over here as well there's two make sure yeah once some players join, you of course want to get their data. So you want to call this uh, level model. And like, no, no, please, get the data off of the player. And over here again, if you want to name a folder, make sure to name it over here. Inside the folder, you of course have our experience. And once this experience changes the value, we can check if there is enough XP to level up. So first we need the amount of XP that we need. And that's the level value times two. So if the experience value, current experience, is more or equal to XP that we need, then obviously we have not enough XP to level up. So that's what we're going to do. Folder dot level dot value plus equals one. Once the player is leaving, you also want to remove them or save your data. So that's what we're going to do. Level module. Save stats out of the player. And now, of course, we have to make the level module. So insert a module. Level module now we can start making it we first need to get the data store things so first we have data store service and then we can make a data store the name of it does not matter i'm just gonna call it game experience data store that's that proper shape we're gonna make a little tape thingy we store all the different values that we want to make and they're all in select no business whatsoever and we want to meet our experience and the level we also want to call the data id that's for saving the game's progress don't worry you won't see that ever you won't you won't you won't notice it that's fine and we open the data function for loading the data off the player and the player and the leader that's the folder so we have to make a key for getting the data and the best key to use is player user id plus another thing because if you want to use their name, that name can change, and once the player changes the name, they will no longer get access to the data. So that's what we're going to be. Value user ID because it's always the same, no matter what you can change it. We want to get the data, and we put it inside this key call because sometimes Roblox just doesn't want to see the load of data. And if that happens, I want to try to crash. I want to be like, okay, no, it didn't say, but that's fine, we can continue with the rest of the script. So that's what this key call is for. So if this data exists, then we load it. We read through the entire thing, we find the value that we're going to be changing when we this value. Of course, maybe uh, before we play, this level value will be set to zero, and that makes no sense. So how can we check it? If the player has no play before, and the level value is zero, I'm going to start to start at level one. It means we turn this. And there are two more options. Module, I create stats. Oh, come on. Create stats for group player, of course. So I'm going to make a folder. Make a folder. And as I previously mentioned, the name of the folder is player stats. In my case, at least. And I'm going to loop through every one of these values that we need over here. The very fun thing is, if you want to make a kind of money, like, just do this. And boom, you have money in your game, and you can save it and everything. So that's, that's awesome. You can make as many as you want. Okay, so I have to make the new, new value for the things that we are uh, loading or making. So I want to change the name to this one. Uh, of course, we have to put all of these values inside the folder. And after we have the folder ready, we can load the data to the player. And of course, the data is ready, we can put this folder inside the player. And after this, the local handler will update all this. And one more little function for saving stats of the player. We can just copy, let's see, copy this key, copy the key, put it like this. And of course, we can the folder. And this, at the same time, player stats is one column. We're going to make some data. We're going to loop through everything inside the user stats for the folder. So we're going to go to the folder and copy all of the value into this safe thing that we'll save. Pass data, of course, and compare it and see if this makes sense. We're trying to see. We're going to return the data that we made, and if not, well, we're not going to return it. So that's all of the script. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So let's click play. Okay, we are at level one, and I can open this folder and see. Okay, experience and level. And I can see it started at level one, which is what we wanted. And you might think, okay, I can just change these values right here and that will, and it will save, but no, you have to change it on the server side because as you can see, I'm on the client side. So go to server side and now you can change it. So let's go into this. Let's set my experience to three. Oh, as you can see, it's now at zero again. And now I'm at level two. And I know for level two, I need four experience. So I'm gonna set my experience to four. Boom. Now I'm at level three. Okay, um, okay, remember, I'm level three. Let's go see if it saves. It should save, play. And now I should be at level three. Yep. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions. And of course, you can get the model in the description for free if you're confused or too lazy or something like that. But thank you guys for watching my video and have a nice summer.